Spyware is a type of malware that is installed on computers and collects information about the users without their knowledge. Spyware programs secretly monitor the user's computing. They can collect various types of personal information such as the internet surfing habits, visited web pages, and transmit that information in the background of someone else. Something they also change computer setting that result in slow connection speed and wrong functioning of the other program. Spyware can also collect information about email addresses, passwords, and even credit card numbers. So we should be careful from spyware. Now you can understand what is spyware program secretly gather information from the computer. They have infected and transmit the information to a different location. Okay, take the vital information from the computer system such as username, password. Okay, these viruses are very dangerous. Now next we will discuss about types of viruses different types of viruses can be classified their infection targets into the following types first is boot virus okay first we will discuss about boot virus these viruses infect the boot because its name like this its name boot virus it infect the boot recall or master boot recall they replace the boot record that is responsible for loading the operating system in the computer's memory by copying it elsewhere. Okay, boot record. Boot word means booting. What is the meaning of booting? When we are starting our computer, it will take time to uh, coming desktop. It is called booting process. Boot virus becomes active at the time of booting the machine and destroy data stored in. For example, this killer, stone virus, etc. These are the examples of boot virus. Okay, it becomes active at the time of booting the machine and affect the boot records of hard disk and floppy disk. Damaged boot, stone virus, this killer, and some other boot viruses are the examples of boot virus. Next virus is coming program file virus okay, these virus infect executable file programs such as those with extension like .com .exe .org .drvsis these programs get loaded in the computer memory during execution only okay, the virus becomes active in the computer memory by replicating itself and infecting the files and other programs on the disk. Examples of programs file virus are Sunday, okay, Cascade, Alien, these are the program viruses. Okay, now understand what is program virus? It infect executable program files which have as extension .com, .sys, .ovr. Whenever the user starts an application, the runs the infected file and virus is unleashed. Okay, next type of virus is multi pilotite virus. Okay, multi pilotite virus. The virus gets entry into the computer system through some infected media and then resides in that. After that, this virus moves into the hard drive, infects the boot sector and starts spreading itself in the system by infecting the executable sites. multi virus. For example, invader, flip, tequila, etc. These are examples of multi parotide virus. Okay, now understood, it's a hybrid of boot sector program file virus and it's coming to the infected media reside inside the computer memory. Next is macrovirus infect the file
files which are created using applications that support macros such as Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Macro is a series of programming steps that allow automation of many actions with a single keystroke. When the infected file is open, macro virus get loaded into the memory and destroyed the data is stored in the hard disk. Once a macro virus gets active on your computer, every document you produce will become infected. This virus can be spread through email attachment, disk, network, modems. Okay, email attachment, disk modem this is the modem and internet connection for example malicia rls and the blast etc these are the examples of macro virus now let's talk about macro virus these are it that use another application macro programming language to disturb themselves okay they infect document word excel powerpoint these are called Macro virus. They are written in macro language which are embedded in software itself. Okay, children, now they, this is you know the fact. The first PC virus was a boot sector virus named as Brain. Okay, first PC virus named as Brain. That is called boot sector virus. Released in 1987 by Farooq Alvi Brothers in Lahore. Who made this virus? Farooq Alvi Brothers from Lahore in 1987 in Pakistan. Now that's all for today's class. Now I will give you homework and next topic we will do in our next class. Now I will give you homework. Open page number 19. Okay, exercise A, fill in the blank. You have to do, do this exercise in your copy. Make one copy for computer, class of homework, same. Okay, fill in the blanks. Number one, a computer virus dash the normal operation of the computer. Answer is disrupts. Okay, next. Number two, computer virus results in loss of dash and dash of data, speed and disrupt. Number 3. Virus dash in the computer without the permission knowledge of the user. Answer is enter. Computer virus causes harm to the dash and dash stored in a computer by overwriting them with garbage. Answer is data and programs. Now next number 5. Virus enters through an infected dash or dash CD or pen drive. Number 6. Virus programs are self-replicating. Number 7. Some virus programs monitor the dash in the host computer and trigger on a certain day like Friday the 13th. Answer is clock. It holds a clock and virus name is like Friday the 13th. Number 8. Dash are designed to identify, prevent and remove the virus from a computer is antivirus. Now 1 to 8 fill ups you will do from here and next I will give you some extra fill-ups from recap point you can see on your page number 19 